Hi, I'm Jennifer Chang, and I'm a founding member and um, company member of Chalk Repertory Theater. And in fact, you could say that I was responsible for bringing the people together to start the theater company. Um, we actually started off here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where we're featuring Slither. And uh, I pitched Three Sisters to Jay Boileau, who's the executive vice president here, and lied and said that I had a theater company and then ran home, <laughs> called Larissa and Ruth and told them that Guess we're what? at go. <laughs> we're, now a theater. we're now a theater company because we'd been talking about different ideas and what I wanted to produce and what they wanted to produce and different ideas that we had. So um, anyway, so that's the short story. And then now we're at our, I believe, eighth show here at, um, and our third time back at Hollywood Forever Cemetery with Slither, directed by Casey Stangle. Hi, um, I'm Casey Stangle. I'm the director of Slither. Uh, this is actually the second time I'm directing this play. We had an opportunity, especially in Los Angeles, to cast it differently. Um, when we did it in Minneapolis, it was with an all-white cast. And... Um, in, in this incarnation, we really wanted to explore um, the idea of, you know, if we're, if we're sort of representing women <laughs> through history, <laughs> that we're not just representing white women, but that we had a, an opportunity um, in this city and with this company to explore um, a more, you know, a more diverse casting um, and, and, and kind of then what the, the sort of other layers that that would give to the play. So both of those things were, we were able to do this time around. Carson came out and we did some work on, the, on reordering the play and a little bit of rewriting and then, um, and then cast it you know, much differently than we had cast it previously. So yes. uh, the only thing I would, I think the one thing that's been a real um, a joy and a challenge, but I think mostly a joy is doing the play here at Hollywood Forever in the Masonic Lodge. Um, it, it was another reason for revisiting the play is the opportunity to do it in a non-traditional setting. And the Lodge has such a feeling of um, grandeur and majesty and history and ritual. Um, I mean, you know, the Masons were all about ritual. So, and that v figures very prominently into the play. So I feel like that enhances the experience of the play for both the actors and the audience and, and presented us with some really fun op staging opportunities to use the space, kind of every corner of it in, in I think, using it interestingly and, uh, um, and it, it enhanced the connections between the characters because a lot of people are on stage almost the entire play and so the ability to have people um, Inter, you know, in, interconnect and and create some of those additional relationships or, or additional layers to their relationships that may not be just in the text um, really enhanced it. Um, I actually had an audience member tell me last night that they felt like it was as if they were seeing a play that was being done in promenade style, you know, where, where audiences move from one station to the next, but but while seated, <laughs> promenade style while seated. So I thought that was, that was kind of what we were after. So, so the, the, the space has really been a big part of, I think, the, uh, the experience of doing the play. Hello, I'm Lena Patel, I'm good. I'm in the play as um, Iva, a Cretan priestess, uh, Lee, a struggling single mother, um, a woman who's in love with a married preacher in the play, and uh, a carny dancer. I read the play very quickly. I was very fascinated by it. It's very Tree of Life, although it was written way before that film came out. <laughs> so it's not. So anyway, but um, it's, I love things that are non-linear. I had just come off doing a play that was very linear. It was a joy to do, but very, you know, expected. Everything was very crowd-pleasing, and this was sort of a refreshing change. And the, as an actor, getting to play a few different roles is always fun, but getting to play, you know, a, a woman from the South is not something I often get to do. <laughs> and I am from, I mean, I grew up in Texas, so, um, I, and <laughs> I have played some South Indians. Um, so that was really appealing. It's also because my, the character of Iva, who's a Cretan priestess, represents a very different world that most Judeo-Christians are not familiar with it's the the east the other side of things and um so it's, so i feel like the play takes this very long lens of the rise and fall of civilizations as traced through the lives of these women and how they're 
liberated and one is and the sacrifices that women have made for their descendants.